Hey guys, Mr. T here. Now I know what you're thinking, what is with the backdrop? This is the start of a brand new series. So my First Amendment, or not my First Amendment, my Amendment series is going beautifully. I got all five of the First Amendment down, I got the second and third down, and I got the fourth and fifth already, well, I'm about to video, or about to film them, and everything's going good with that. So I thought I'd start a second a series that I've been wanting to do first all along, but I got to the amendments, and that is called Mobile America. Okay, and what that basically means is you guys leave me comments, um, questions, things like that, and I'll answer them in super short two to three minute videos. No editing, straight from my phone to the website. And if you like them or if you want to know more, then you can leave another comment and I'll do a full blown video where you see my actual whiteboard behind me. And so for this first video, I thought um, there's a car pulling up next to me, so I want to close the window so they don't think I'm a weirdo. Um, they probably already will. So first off, I'm sitting here in front of my uh, local Valero and I'm thinking, what should my first topic be? It's gotta be something super short, because I have my intro and then my topic. So I thought, why not do it on the Electoral College? My aunt and I literally just had a conversation about this right before I left the house. And basically what the Electoral College is, is it's basically the group of people who actually elect the president. We as American citizens do not elect our president or vice president, okay? When you go in November to cast your ballot, that is a suggestion, not an actual vote. Everyone else, senators, congressmen, everyone else you do vote for, but the president, you do not technically vote for him or the vice president to an extension. The Electoral College does. And the reason the Electoral College was set up, a quick little history of it is, during, in 1787 when our constitution was first written. Now, 1776 was when we became a country. 1787 is when our constitution that we still have today was first written. And our founding fathers put the Electoral College in for one major reason, is the lack of knowledge in the country. And that may, and I don't mean lack of knowledge thinking that people were stupid, I meant lack of knowledge. And if people were running for president, if someone, you know, if you if you said something in Maine, people in Georgia, which was the other side of the 13 colonies, wouldn't hear about it for for about a good week or two, okay? Unless they rode straight through, which sometimes didn't really happen. So it took a while for information to travel back then. Today, not so much. That's why the Electoral College came into being. It gave a group of people from each state the right to elect the president. Now, the Electoral College does pick who we want. So your suggestion is heard. There's only been one time in all of US history where the Electoral College did not pick the person that the people picked, and that was um, John uh, Andrew Jackson versus John Quincy Adams in the 1800s. It's the only time in US history they didn't pick who we wanted. So I'm out of time, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Electoral College. If you like the video, comment, and I will do an actual like full-blown video, and stay tuned for for more episodes of Mobile America, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Stay beautiful, Americans. Peace. Oh, and the yellow shirt.